when you draw a chair, um, and you're learning to draw a chair initially, it's good to do it in steps. You draw three sets of parallel lines. Those three sets of parallel lines are the bonds within the ring. And if you're drawing a chair, you can draw it in slightly different uh, settings where the ends are tipped up or a little bit more level. Uh, but this would be a good place to start. Draw two diagonal lines that are parallel to one another. And then go to opposite corners, either the up or down opposing corners. Let's say we start at the lower left corner. We draw a line up and we draw a line parallel to that, fairly parallel to that, from the other corner here. So these two lines are intended to be parallel to one another. And then we draw in lines to connect the remaining corners. So we have lines A, B and C. So you need to be able to draw the chair and you need to be able to draw it pointed both directions, tipped so the lower, so the left atom is down or the left atom is up. But you also need to be able to put the bonds to all of the carbons on as well. And this takes uh, an extra step of attention. So what I want you to recognize is that for this AB intersection in the lower left, that pair of atoms here, or pair of bonds, is kind of pointing, pointing down on the page. Right? So those angles can help you see where you should put your axial axial bonds. So since that's pointing down, I'm going to draw my axial bond straight down from that carbon. The one in the opposite corner is pointing generally up. I'm going to put the axial bond here pointing straight up. And if this is cyclohexane, I'll draw in the hydrogens. Okay. Remember, things alternate as you go around. One carbon's got axial up, the next one's axial down, and so on. So the first one I drew was axial down, the one beside it is axial up, the next one is down. The previous one I put up is already there, next one's down, next one's up, and they're all drawn in. They're helpful in guiding you where to put the equatorial hydrogens because the equatorial hydrogens, if, if I take my first carbon that I dealt with, it had, it had axial down. The other position on this carbon has to be up. So it's equatorial and up. And it's going to go right here. Okay. So you can see that that equatorial hydrogen I just drew in is pointed slightly up on the page. So you could use that as your starting point. Now it's up, so the next equatorial's down, next one's up, next one's down, and so on. That's pretty easy. The thing that's hard here is drawing them in, pointing the right way. You need to point them in so it's clear, draw them in so it's clear where they're pointing. So what I'll point out is that um, this bond here that I just drew in equatorially should be about parallel to two more bonds in the molecule, these two right here. Not the ones it's directly attached to, the next pair away. <clears throat> okay, so that gets your angle right. And so if I go over to the opposite side of the molecule, this equatorial hydrogen is going to be pointing down, and it's also going to be parallel to the, the bonds labeled C. Those two are the easier two, 
Actually, those two are pretty easy, and the ones between A and C are not too bad either. So we'll go ahead and put A's and C's, the hydrogens that are at the intersection of A and C, in. So they're pointing one up and one down. The hardest ones are the ones for B, the B um, C junction, the last two that we put in. So the one that's attached to the front BC is pointing out towards you, and it has to be parallel to two bonds, not the two that it's directly attached to, but bonds A, the pair of bonds A. So this front hydrogen goes right here. and it's parallel to A. And it's really clear, on every carbon there's an axial and an equatorial hydrogen. If I can't tell whether it's axial or equatorial, your drawing's not good enough. So that, that's going to be kind of the, the guideline. So you need bonds that should be pointing straight up, pointing straight up, ones that should be equatorial, pointing either up or down, and definitely equatorially.